I have another extraordinary video for you. I think you might think it's a little excellent. Hmm. There's a lot of egg puns. I wonder what it's going to be about. You guessed it. Easy eggs. It's another as seen on TV device that says this is going to peel your hard boiled eggs completely perfectly. No problems whatsoever. Let's see how it works. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly, you guessed it, as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I look at a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see if this easy egg disappoints or does exactly what it says it's going to do. Let's unbox it. Let's unbox this Easy Eggs product that I purchased for about 10 bucks at my local As Seen on TV retailer. All right. So in the box, we open it up. We find, oh, good directions. I'll read that later. And then we find, oh, well, an egg device. Let's see. The plastic feels pretty good. Um, I notice a gasket right here. That's nice. And there are all these little bumps all over the inside. I guess that's what to shake loose the um, shells. Well, that's a pretty simple design. Um, it is a pretty good quality plastic. Oh, it's a rubber base. That's nice. So it won't slip. Um, so let me read through the directions and then we're going to test it out. After looking through the directions, I noticed that there are two different Easy Eggs. This is the Easy Eggs 3, which is used for three eggs, but there's also an Easy Eggs 5, which, as you guessed it, is used for five eggs. Now, this is different than the Egg Pot, a review I did not too long ago. This is just for peeling the eggs. You actually don't cook them here. The directions has a cooking uh, method, and I'm going to do exactly what they say, because if this doesn't work, I'm going to blame it on them and not on me. Um, so let's go check it out, and we're going to hard boil some eggs per their directions, and then try out the easy eggs. Well, there are over a hundred little divots and bumps in here that are going to help you peel your eggs, or so we think. Um, the directions do say that this is dishwasher safe, so that's a plus. Um, but do not put it in the freezer. Do not put it in the microwave. Um, that's just something I wanted to note as we get started. Here we have the world's greatest cooking pot. If you didn't see this review, I will link it at the end. Um, and you want to be sure to check that out. All right, so the directions for the easy eggs. First, we add a tablespoon of salt followed by a tablespoon of white distilled vinegar. And then we're going to turn this thing on. I'm going to leave it on high heat right now because I want to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we have a few other things to do. Let's come back then. So our water has come to a boil. I have my hot hands on just because I'm not looking to burn myself. The directions say to spoon your eggs in. And this is just like that, right? I'm just happen to be using this colander. Just go in gently. Make sure your eggs are completely covered in water. And then it says cover. Now you're supposed to bring it back to a boil, which it's still doing, right? And then turn the heat down to medium. So I'm turning this down to medium. And then now I'm going to leave this here to cook for the next 12 minutes. We've been boiling for now 12 minutes. So let's take this off. Again, I have my hot hands. I'm turning the oven or the stove off. Hot hands. Oh, look, my egg's already cracked. We'll see what happens with that. I'm going to go now soak this in an ice bath for 20 minutes. I would love to get your opinion of the easy eggs. Would you use something like this? Let me know down in the comment section below. Is this needed? Let me know. There was not any clear direction on how much water or how much ice. They just said enough to give your eggs an ice water bath. So here they are. In 20 minutes, we're going to put them in our easy eggs to see what happens. Do you know what's really neat? I was reading through the directions. Remember, I have the easy egg three. There's also an easy egg five. But you can actually store inside this easy egg six peeled hard-boiled eggs. You can hard-boil them, peel them, and just keep them in your fridge in this. 
And guess what? If you had the Easy Egg 5, you guessed it, you could put 10 in there. That's kind of neat. An extra little storage container option. Our eggs have been in their egg bath for now 20 minutes. I want to show you real quick. You can see this line that goes all the way around the Easy Egg. Well, you're supposed to fill it with water to that line. And as I measured, it became about a half cup. So let's fill that in there first. Now we're going to take our three eggs out. One, two, three, all right. And then we put our lid on and just turn and tighten. Make sure it's on tight, okay? Because now you're supposed to shake up and down for 10 seconds. Let's do that. All right, so now that it's been 10 seconds, we're allowed to look at our eggs and see what's happened. All right, so let's see what's happened. I'm gonna put this down, move this over so we can see. All right, I'm supposed to be able to just pull these eggs out of their shells. I mean, ooh. How about this? So I'm absolutely not gonna complain about this. That was utterly easy and it worked. There we go, get all that stuff off. That was pretty impressive. Let's check another one. It does tell you that if when you sh first shook it, if it did not um, start to crack, you're supposed to shake it for an additional 5 to 10 seconds. Look at that. I'd say, well, it worked. Now the third time. All right, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh, they did say you're supposed to be able to pinch one end and it comes right out, but I don't know if I got to that point yet without smushing the egg, no. But it's close enough, right? Because I can actually just peel this off with the greatest of ease. But with every hard boiled egg, we must test the inside. So let's just crack this open real quick. That's a pretty impressive hard boiled egg right there. I'd say, well done, easy eggs. What? It worked. I, I couldn't even believe it. I was going into this saying, nope, I'm going to fail. I'm not even, not even going to happen. So I followed the directions by the letter of the law in their directions. Um, I boiled for 12 minutes. I let rest for 20 minutes in ice in an ice bath. I even put the salt and the vinegar in the water when it was boiling just because I'm saying that this doesn't work. It's not my fault. When I took the first set of eggs out, I noticed they were already cracked. And I thought, well, it's technically already cracked. So then I did another three. And it worked. <laughs> they weren't cracked this time. Well, then I did three without using my colander. I just put them in the pan and I spooned them in and I spooned them out. And it worked. Do you know what else happened? This is what happened. Check this out. I run the test a few more times just because I wanted to see if it would do it over and over again. Watch this. Whoop. Oh, it worked exactly as it said. I did this like four times in a row and I thought, I'm going to get that on video. I was able to just shoot the egg out. That was cool. It worked. I like this. This is a product that I'm definitely going to use more of. Um, anyway, I like the Easy Eggs. It's a good price. I think the five egg one is about 15 bucks, so it's still in a good price point. Um, you know what thing I did notice? I read through the directions, and they said you can even store it like that, so it's not too cumbersome. Not that it's that big anyway. So that was my review of the Easy Eggs. Two thumbs up. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I really think it was awesome that you stayed around for my entire review of the Easy Eggs. You rock, and I really do appreciate it. As a bonus, I'm going to do, well, first let me do a buy or deny. This is simple. When I look at a buy or deny, I say, does it make my life easier? And does it make something, the process of something simpler or easier, right? Um, way convenient, way easy, not a problem. Yes, I would recommend a buy. So as a bonus, I'm going to link two different videos. So in this video, I use my As Seen on TV Hot Hands, and I also use my As Seen on TV World's Greatest Pot. So I'm going to link the Hot Hands video here and the World's Greatest Pot video here. I would love it if you would click one of those links. And by the miracle of the internet, I'm going to show up with whatever one you pick. So go ahead, click one. They're safe. I promise.